Newton Tiffican here with another question bank question in topic 6.2, Newton's Laws of Gravitation. Uh, we're looking at uh, orbiting objects. In this question we have a binary star system. These are two stars that orbit each other. Uh, they orbit a fixed point as well, so this star is moving around this way, and this star is moving around this way, but they're always opposing each other across this point P. So when this star is here, this star has moved over here. And when the star is here, the other star has moved over here. Part A asks to state the name of the force that provides the centripetal force for the motion of these stars. Well, there's no tether joining them to P. Uh, there's not really much of anything in between here and here. The only thing that's permeating this space, uh, besides maybe light, is a gravitational force. Uh, gravitational field. So it's the force of gravity that pulls uh, star M1 towards P and star M2 towards P. They're equal and opposite forces. Now the uh, force is inwards toward the center, so that makes it a centripetal force, which means that the force of gravity is a centripetal force. Part B says uh, a new situation. We have a satellite with a mass little m is in a circular orbit around the Earth uh, at a height r from the Earth's surface, where r is the radius of the Earth. So there's the radius of the Earth from the center to the edge, and then a second distance r from the surface of the Earth to the satellite's orbit. The mass of the Earth may be considered to be a point mass centered at the Earth's center, so it will treat all of the mass as if it's piled up right here at a dot in the center of the Earth. Uh, and the Earth has a mass big M and radius little r. We're asked to deduce that the kinetic energy, Ek, of the satellite when in orbit is this. All right. Well, just like we said up here, the force of gravity is what's pulling the satellite in towards the center. The force of gravity is what's pulling the satellite in towards the center, and that's the only force acting on the satellite. So just like how a number of these questions work out, the sum of all the forces is the force of gravity, so it's the only one. But because the satellite is moving in a circle, the sum of all the forces must be a centripetal force. The force of gravity can be computed as the gravitational constant multiplied by the two masses divided by the separation between them squared. The separation between them is actually 2r. So that's divided by 2r squared. Usually we think of r as the separation between their centers, but in this particular question they defined r to be the radius of the Earth, meaning that the separation between the center of the Earth and the satellite is actually 2r. Centripetal force is the mass of the object going in the circle, the mass of the satellite, times its tangential velocity squared, again divided by its, its, the radius of the circle that it travels in, which is 2r. Uh, some simplifications can be made. Little m cancels with little m and 2r cancels with one of these 2r's, and we get that the square of the velocity of the satellite is gm on 2r. And again, this equation looks a little unfamiliar because of the way we defined r. That's not what we want, though. We want the kinetic energy. And kinetic energy, as always, is 1 half mv squared. We know what v is, though, so we'll take this expression for v, bring it down, and we get 1 half m times g m on 2 r. Simplifying things around, 2 times 2 is 4. m times g m is g m m on r. g m m on 4 r.